Here are some ways in which you can assess student learning when you are teaching online. So multiple choice quizzes and um, term papers are not the only way in which you can um, assess student learning when you are having students submit their work to you online. Another question which comes to mind is how to assess students without a proctor when you're teaching online, right? So I'm going to today um, talk about some simple ideas which you might use, which you can use to kind of assess your students' learning, and you may not have to use a proctor in um, such situations. So asynchronous discussions might be a good way. You can target actually many levels of learning if you use such discussions. So, you know, starting from simple comprehension and application to higher levels of learning like evaluation and reflection and their problem solving abilities. And they can even create new products or new thoughts when they are responding to discussion, discussion questions. Certain individual activities, like they can create a professional product, they can identify a resource, and then they can present it to their peers or kind of lead a classroom discussion. They could go out and like interview a practitioner and then present their findings to their peers. They can develop a portfolio of their products. Um, they can even compile an annotated bibliography, which actually requires a lot of research skills. Group assignments is a good way. So they could collaborate to produce a report, they can do a presentation, they can create a product, or they can even collaborate online with their peers to make a wiki. Um, they can certainly write a blog in collaboration and uh, participate in an online discussion or debate. And these can all, these are all activities which can happen um, online at a distance from Remember, the CTL is here to help you. Um, so uh, we, we, we give us a call. Uh, I'm, I will be happy to discuss um, other ways uh, in which you can assess your students when you're teaching online.